Hey, this is Numeric Citizen. In today's video, why I'm moving all or most of my bookmarks out of craft. One of my first uh, positive reaction when I started to use craft uh, a few years ago was when I first pasted a link into a document. I really like the way craft uh, display the preview of the of the link in a bookmark and uh, I also could change the title and change the format of the uh, actual bookmark in the document but and as time uh, passed um, I collected quite a few bookmarks uh, to uh, build uh, a knowledge base on different subjects and one example of that is the Apple Rumor Hub that I'm maintaining. I'll show you that uh, a few in a few uh, moments. Uh, so really, bookmarks was really the first uh, reason why why I started to like uh, very much uh, craft. So as you can see, if I switch to my craft environment and I look at the Apple Rumors Hub, uh, you can see here there's a, a bunch of links uh, or bookmarks that I'm uh, using at the beginning of this section and they are uh, adjusting to the size of, of the, the width of the document and I can also change the uh, the way they are displayed if I want to display that in a smaller version or if I want to display that in a card version of the same um, uh, website um, so but it's pretty limited when I when you look at it uh, it's pretty limited and um, one of the thing is that there is no way to uh, if I can I can rename this um, uh, the title use and the description, but that's pretty much it. I there is no way for me to add any more data related to a specific bookmark, uh, like a comment, for example. Example, sure I could uh, just uh, come over here and add a uh, some sort of text there, but it's kind of not tied together. And uh, I, I'm quite not uh, happy uh, with that anymore. And the other thing is when you switch to um, the website and you want to uh, kind of save a bookmark from within the uh, browser, uh, what you get is a pretty limited uh, functionality where uh, you can select the document but not the page. So it's, it's very limiting. And also you can select the, the space. And uh, I already said that I should put the space before and then the, the document where I want to save the, doc, the, the actual bookmark. Sure, I can add a text uh, to, this, um, um, to this bookmark. And when I do so, what it will do, it will simply add the text after the actual bo bookmark and that's it. So it's a pretty limited experience. And, um, and I think for me uh, recently, I. I started to rethink this whole strategy, and I think that there are better tools or apps to uh, use uh, for saving a lot of uh, bookmarks um, instead of using Craft. In this video segment, uh, what I'll show you is a quick tour of a, a good or great uh, bookmarks uh, manager for the Mac, which happens to be also available on the iPhone and the iPad. Uh, it's not available on the on the web though. It's uh, only available on the uh, Apple ecosystem. Uh, sure, there are good uh, bookmarks manager like Good Links. It's a pretty well known bookmark manager. There's also a website uh, called Raindrop where you can save uh, bookmarks and many other things like um, uh, images, for example. Uh, but I wanted to use a native, a real native uh, uh, application on, on the Mac or, or on the iPad and the iPhone. So I um, came across a bookmarks manager called Anybox. So this is uh, a quick tour of the application that I'm using now for saving a lot of bookmarks. Um, so the first thing is uh, I move all the bookmarks that I used to gather in the craft uh, environment uh, where I was uh, using uh, for building my uh, monthly newsletter called the Numeric Citizen Introspection Newsletter. Um, so I remove all the bookmarks from from Graph 
just by using the copy and paste feature and then I went here and then I pasted into any box the, uh, the, the bookmark collection one by one so it was a pretty uh, tedious process but uh, thanks uh, I don't have that many um, bookmarks to to move out to from craft uh, as you can see here on the left in the sidebar, there is a, a four uh, automatically updated folders where you'll be able to see all the bookmarks that are saved that was saved today, the one that are starred, and all the um, bookmark in the connection and uh, the bookmarks that you save from the browser. So I'll do that right now. I'll switch back to um, uh, Safari and I'll use the uh, uh, the Anybox Safari extension, which is pretty nice. So as you can see, the URL here is uh, on the first field. This is the title of the document that I'm about to save. And here I can select or type a comment about this, um, uh, th this bookmark that I'm going to save. And then I can either uh, star this uh, article if I want to use this functionality. And also I can select one of the collections. So the, the good thing about this one is that I can save into many different uh, collection to uh, in, in the same operation. So that's pretty nice. So I'll go just unselect that and keep uh, this one selected. And then this is a major issue. So and I'll click save and then boom, the article is, has been saved. So I'll go back in the uh, Anybox application. So today, I just uh, saved this item here. And also you'll see that it's not in the Anybox, in, in the Inbox, because I selected a specific uh, collection where I'm, uh, I saved the, uh, the bookmark. So as you can see on the right here, uh, you can see that there is a preview of the website and there's a, a lot of metadata related to this bookmark. And also you'll notice that this uh, button here is show reader. So I can hit here the, uh, the button and it will show me a reader version of this article. And Anybox is pretty good at using the reader mode uh, of the macOS. Uh, operating system to uh, extract the uh, actual content of the article uh, that I can read from there. Uh, there is no uh, text highlighting feature though, but it's uh, good enough for me to, uh, to use to read the content of the article. Uh, if I uh, go in a specific list here, uh, oh, this uh, this saving of the uh, of the uh, article in the reader mode is a sitting set in the um, folder or the uh, collection um, uh, setting where I can select to download automatically any bookmarks in this collection. So it's kind of a read later application too. Uh, I'm not using that uh, especially for, for that purpose, but it's a pretty cool uh, feature to add within the bookmarks manager. The other thing, as you can see, there is a way to change the icon. And the good thing is that it used the Apple uh, icon collection uh, which contains a lot. I think it's more than 3,000 different um, icons and you can have them in plain or in line mode kind of thing. So I'm usually using the, um, the I can, I don't know if I can undo that. No, I cannot undo that, it's not okay. So um, you can change the, the icon over there. Uh, you can change also the color. Uh, the sad thing is uh, is that you have to find the uh, the X co uh, color uh, code to get the color right. Uh, for that, you can use a, a, a utility called Color Slurp. Uh, that is a free utility on the Mac where you'll be able to click on on the screen and select the right color and then copy paste the X code for this uh, specific color. Um, so as you can see, I have a bunch of collection uh, collections are kind of a folder, but it's not. It's more uh, rich, feature rich than a folder. Uh, folders are not available yet in any box, but it's uh, flexible enough to be able to uh, have a nested collection uh, uh, together. So I have a, uh, a collection called two set and under, underneath there is a four uh, three other collection that, I, that I'm using to for different purposes. And as you can see, um, there is a way to uh, display the content on the right in the list in different ways, depending on the type of bookmarks that you are gathering. 
So for an example, if I go in the area of interest, if I have this one, uh, which is more related to photography, I, I can uh, choose to display the content of the bookmarks in a, a, uh, a gallery view or in a, a card view. Uh, as you can see, there is a lot of flexibility uh, on the way that you can use to display the uh, content of the uh, of each collection also you'll be able to change uh, how the collection is sorted is it by the last uh, the date uh, the date added the, the, the date the bookmark was updated or the date it was last open within the application itself uh, you can also sort by the name of the uh, bookmark or the url the kind and the size um, speaking of the size uh, all the bookmarks are saved within the application database that happens to be synced using iCloud, I believe. And if I go in the Anybox um, uh, settings and I go and think it's in the in the general status, uh, you'll see that the, the the usage of the document itself and the bookmarks uh, are taking some space there. So this is telling me that uh, the um, the reader view of a of a specific website is stored within the this database. Also uh, of interest, if I go on a specific bookmark, so if I go back there and I click here, I can remove this collection right from the uh, the right pane, or I can right click on the specific on this specific bookmark, I can select to add more collection to this. I can create an Apple reminder from it. I can star it. I can just hit quick look, and then it will show me the website in a quick, quick uh, uh, look uh, view. If I if, if I may say, like this, and also you can uh, copy the bookmark as a markdown only, or with the the the, mark, the, the bookmark itself followed by a description. You can copy also only the title, only the description, or the link with the title. And it, so it's pretty, pretty, pretty flexible depending on your use case. You can also archive this, uh, the website that is tied to this bookmark as a web archive, or as a PDF, or as a screenshot. So if you want to take a screenshot of a specific website, uh, you can do so uh, with any box. And one of the use case for that one is that you can take a, a screenshot of a website and then paste the uh, resulting image of this uh, website and then import that into Craft in order to create a thumbnail of this specific website, something that Craft doesn't do itself. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you can also capture a screenshot of the first page uh, of the um, of the website. You can also edit the metadata where you can change the title, you can change the comment, and you can change the actual image that came with the fetching of the actual uh, bookmark uh, URL. And then you can also look at the archive where you can dra drag and drop a file over there. So I think it's, a, and I, I, I in general, I like the uh, general information density that I get to see in this uh, application, the sizing of the all the user interface element uh, are at, at the right size, and it it feels very native as an application. And I think it's I'm I would say that it's probably written in Swift UI, but I'm not sure. Um, so and it's it's pretty fast. Um, I am on the M1 uh, Mac Mini right now, but it's I mean it's pretty fast. And as you can see here, you can see all your content from the type or the kinds of object that you are looking at. So right now it's mostly about uh, saving links, but you can also save uh, uh, tidbits like text, uh, text files. You can also save images and, or you can also save uh, plain files. Uh, I mean, I'm not using any box for those, uh, for that purposes. I'm really focusing on the use of uh, bookmarks manager for, uh, link to website. So I know that's funny because when you click on the right, on the on the left portion here, sometimes the icon over there will change for some reason. I think it's uh, random, but it's a nice touch to instead of showing in an empty space, it's uh, showing uh, just a um, uh, an icon there. So it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty 
Uh, oh, and it supports uh, Apple shortcuts where you can get a list of items from an Apple shortcuts. Uh, you can save items using Apple shortcuts too if you want. And uh, you can also, I think it supports Apple script. Um, and that's pretty much about what I had to say regarding bookmark, uh, this bookmark manager. And I bought it. It's not a subscription. It's a, I, I chose to buy the uh, one-time fee for this uh, software because I think it's worth it. And it's a good thing that it is not a subscription by itself. There's an option to buy a full license for the software. So that's pretty much it about Anybox. Uh, this is something I wanted to show you. So that's why I came out with this idea of getting my bookmarks out of Craft and use a specific, a focused uh, application just to do that. So Anybox now is part of my uh, creator uh, tool set that you see on the screen right now. I'll share the uh, bookmark for that in the uh, video description. Uh, as you can see in this uh, tool set, um, it's uh, right there. Anybox is right there, right there, here. And also you can uh, click on that in order to uh, get a, um, a detailed review of the uh, application that I posted on my uh, website that you can see right here. Oh, it's opening the actual document. That's weird. Um, so this is uh, the article where I'm talking in more details about Anybox. Um, this decision to uh, live uh, behind craft for bookmark uh, management management um, comes in, uh, in addition to a similar decision I made a, a, a while back about using craft for uh, daily notes. Um, in this video, I talk about stopping to use Craft DB Notes uh, for managing the to-dos, uh, the, the planning of the, the week ahead. And uh, this is the second uh, thing that I decided to stop using Craft for. So it leaves um, my, use of, my usage of Craft really focused on writing and uh, everything, every activities that comes into writing and producing content. So this is now uh, maybe a more focused um, use of craft, which is more uh, a reflection of uh, craft current abilities in uh, its current version. Maybe sometimes in the future, it will change if a new feature in those areas uh, as the to-do management tool or as the bookmarks management tool, maybe I'll change my mind, but for now, uh, this is, uh, I think, the best decisions I made regarding my usage of Craft. So that's it for today's video. I hope you find you found it uh, useful. And if you did so, then just hit like. Don't be shy and drop me a comment in the video uh, comment section. I answer most of them. And also, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos about craft or any other uh, videos. So thanks again for watching uh, this video and uh, see you guys for another one. Peace.